Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Tanya with Mind, Body and Soul Company and I make aromatherapy bath and beauty products. So for today's project, we're making a cold process soap. It is a cranberry and fig soap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my lye water poured in here. I do use sodium lactate in my lye water. And then as far as the soap batter recipe, it is a palm free recipe. And I always have that down in the description box in case anyone wants to try it out, as well as I do have some kale and clay in there. Of the fragrance oil um, said that it has mild acceleration so don't want to over mix it to start with set that off to the side and hopefully it doesn't roll off the table so I'm gonna pour off some batter into my container here for one of my accent colors it's looking good there so in the main container here, I'm using Plum Dusk Mica from Brambleberry. It's a really nice, deep purpley color with a little bit of shimmer to it. Get that in. And then in this container, I'm doing Coral Mica from Brambleberry. And get that poured in. If you heard a little tune there, that was my vacuum going off. <laughs> Set that off to the side. And then I'm just gonna get, give these a quick stir before I add in the fragrance oil and give it a blend. There. The fragrance oil is not supposed to discolor. It doesn't have any vanillin in it. So hopefully that is the case. It would be nice if these colors stay nice and bright like this. And then in this one with the coral mica, I am also adding in some cranberry seeds. This will give just a little bit of exfoliation in the soap. And then the fragrance oil is Cranberry Fig from Brambleberry. And it's a really nice fragrance, not too, too sweet, but definitely some sweetness to it. It's got notes of cranberry, fig, blood orange, and pink grapefruit. I feel like at some point, uh, Bath and Body Works had a similar fragrance, but I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, so we got the fragrance oil in. Now I'm going to go ahead and give these a quick blend. mica real quick. This is going to be one of my holiday soaps. 
So I think cranberries and Christmas kind of go hand in hand. Well, and fall too. There, that looks good. Pop a little more. All right, so I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl with the coral mica here, as well as a mica drop in the pot. So we'll get that poured in. That's looking good there. Then for the mica uh, drop, I'm using shimmering gold from Nurture. This is my favorite gold, really love it. Um, it just has such a nice shine to it and that stays pretty true in the soap. So we're gonna put some of that right in the middle, some of it over here, and then just give it a little bit of a turn. I like to go down the middle, across, and then give it a swirl like that. All right, so now that I have that swirled, we're gonna go ahead and get it in the mold. I like to use these silicone molds from Brambleberry. Ooh, this has definitely thickened up some, but not terrible. Hopefully, I'm gonna just keep pouring here. And when you do the mica drops, you generally do, even with using the sodium lactate, you usually do have to leave it in the mold a little bit longer. Um, so just something to keep in mind, that way it actually absorbs in and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna get everything scraped out here and then we will get the top ready. All right, so I have everything scraped out and tapped down. And then I did drizzle what leftover mica I did have on top, both the, uh, some of the coral, the plum, and the shimmering gold and then now i'm just gonna give everything a quick swirl i think that looks good there grab my uh, the rest of my cranberry seeds I have here in another container and I'm gonna sprinkle those over the top as well just for a little additional texture That looks good. So I'm gonna spray this with some rubbing alcohol and then I'll bring you in for a close up. All right, and we are back to cut my cranberry fig silk. But before I cut it, I just wanted to give you a close up of the way the loaf turned out. I think the colors are really pretty, especially that mica drop swirl. Go ahead and get it on here. I am gonna cut it on its side because of the cranberry seeds. All right, let's get this first piece cut. Love to 
the swirl running through there. Let's look at the top again. That one didn't have a ton of gold in it. Looks like the next bar should have some. Mm -hmm. There, but a little bit. The fragrance stayed nice and strong. So really liking that. And that um, plum color is really nice in contrast with the pink. So overall pretty happy with how this turned out. Now, even though this is my first winter holiday soap that I am cutting, it is still pretty Hi. early in the year. Um, it's still September when I'm filming this, but the weather has started to cool down some, which is nice. I am definitely ready for those fall temperatures. I even had to wear a little bit of a jacket when I took my dog on our walk today. So. I love that time of year. What is your favorite time of year? Are you a summer all the way kind of person? Or are you fall or spring? Or are you one of the few people that enjoys the winter weather? I like the holidays. So Christmas, mm -hmm. you know, I want that snow right around Christmas. But after that, I am done with cold weather. I know some people really enjoy it. <laughs> so definitely leave that down below, whatever your favorite season may be. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you okay. did, give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one.